Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have something for the Gen 8 owners. We've got some new gears in from Robinson Racing and uh, I know Gen 8 owners really love their trucks and are always looking for option parts. So I wanted to make a quick video to show off what they have. Now Robinson Racing is really well known for their precision gears. And now they have a 32 pitch spur gear for the transmission and uh, they have the uh, transfer gear, the 13 tooth mod one transfer gear for it. So uh, I wanna show you guys this up close. I'm gonna install in the truck so you can see how it's installed and if you're one of those drivers that's really pushing your gen 8 to the limits you really want to check out these gears i'm going to use my gen 8 x for this gear installation so first up we're going to have to remove the top bar from the shock tower here that's just the two screws on each side with a two millimeter hex driver and then we have to remove the battery tray to gain access to the transmission so you'll have to remove these the screws that retain the battery tray and uh, don't forget the one that's over on the side that secures the front I've got the front brace bar out of the way. I've slid my battery tray out of the way. Now there's two more screws in the side frame here that secure the transmission to the chassis. So just unscrew those and you'll be able to lift the transmission out. Since the motor wires on the Gen 8 axe are hardwired to the ESC, we want to go and remove the motor uh, as quickly as possible so we can just work on the transmission. So remove the single screw that holds the gear cover on, slide that off and then remove your pinion gear and your two motor screws, and then you'll have access to the transmission. Okay, we've got our transmission out of the truck, and the first step here is to remove the motor plate because we want to take the slipper clutch off first. With the motor plate off, take a seven millimeter nut driver and remove the slipper clutch nut. And then remove all the slipper clutch components. Now, because we're swapping out the transfer gear, we wanna take the screws off that hold the rear case on. With the screws removed, take the backside of the case off. And now we could slide out the gear shaft. Once the gear and shaft are out, remove the cross pin and remove the factory transfer gear. Now we get to install our new Robinson gear. Slide it onto the shaft, replace the pin, and now we can reinstall it back into our transmission case. Add a little bit of grease to the gears and reinstall your rear cover. Now that our Robinson Racing transfer gear is in, we're going to go ahead and install our Robinson Racing spur gear. Instead of using the slipper clutch, we're going to go ahead and use the lockout. So we're just going to go ahead and slide the plate on. If you are going to go ahead and use the slipper pads, you are going to have to transfer these over to the new gear. Uh, but again, since we're locking it out, we're just going to slide on the metal plate. We'll slide our spur gear in. We'll slide the brass bushing in that came with the Robinson gear. Make sure that just lines up properly. Make sure the rear plate is in the recess of the Robinson gear. Just turn the driver yoke a little bit. Now we can slide on our second plate. Make sure it's in the recess. I'm just going to add two of the washers with the cone facing down to the slipper shaft and reinstall the slipper nut. And there's our new Robinson Racing Hardened Steel Spur Gear install. Looks very cool. Now we just have to go ahead and reinstall all the other parts that we took off and drop the transmission back into the truck. Well, that is a fairly quick and easy way to upgrade the transmission on your Gen 8, your Gen 8 Axe, or even your Windigo, especially if you're adding more power to your vehicle. The only final step here is to add the Robinson Racing decals to your truck so people know what you're running inside your transmission. And one final thing I'd like to recommend is that if you are swapping out the Robinson Racing spur gear, that you get a Robinson Racing pinning gear as well. That way you know that the teeth mesh is perfect between the two. You know, maybe your uh, stock red cat gear is a little worn out. And that way everything just just spins perfect and true as it should. All right, guys, thanks for checking out our Robinson Racing gear swap on the Gen 8. If you haven't done so yet, please click that subscribe button and the notifications bell. We'll see you back here soon for some more RC Driver videos.